welcome to this week's video, uh, my triathlon journey. So the basic last, the basic last 17 weeks, uh, we're on the 16th week, so we're looking at um, the top. Basically, is Hain City. So I would say this week's video is going to be facing your race fears. So facing your race fears. So I'll pretty much break it down each thing. I'll break down uh, swimming, um, open water swimming, biking, uh, mountain biking, and running, and trail running. So those are going to be the, the few things that we're going to discuss that has to do with uh, facing your race fears. So it's got kind of a ring to it. I love it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, definitely helps me uh, also my Instagram handle is ironman.keith don't forget to hit that so we'll jump right in today uh, today's Tuesday it's about 80 degrees uh, we got the race coming up in about 13 days uh, so next week will be race week everything kind of we're gonna taper a little bit this week, but not as fast. So next week we'll definitely start to taper um, a little bit more than we will this week. So there's not really a, anything to do with uh, pool per se, uh, any kind of fear. I guess the only kind of fear that I would say that would calculate to pool swimming would be if you cramp up and you're kind of in the deep end, you're in a some of the pools that are deep at one end and shallow at the other. So I guess the one fear there would be if you're at the deep end and you cramp up and you have to get back. So the fear of, uh, you know, drowning, I guess, if you will. I mean, that's kind of like um, a little too much, but I mean, it could happen. Or if you get some chest pains and you're swimming and then that could be a different situation there. So that'd be pretty much the race fears in my opinion for pool swimming so we're gonna head to the house uh, happy Tuesday everybody and we're gonna be talking about running tomorrow running can get a little technical so we'll talk about that uh, tonight swim went really good uh, when I fell so I'm still kind of favoring this arm a little bit and then my palm is is not doing the greatest but I'm definitely pushing through uh, did about 220 pace about an hour swim 20, it said 25.50, but it's probably around 2,600 meters. So pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Look at that beautiful sun hitting the water. This is my view. 85 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so it's, uh, oh God, Wednesday night, happy Wednesday. Uh, so today's training was 45 minute run, five minute workout, or five mile workout. Um, just try to stay as close to the race pace as I could. Um, my race pace is about eight minutes per mile. I was about at 840, somewhere around there was my average. I'm sure I was up and down because we did hills. Um, it felt really good to do some hills tonight. Uh, also to this week's video topic, like I said before, is facing your race fears. So I want to break down each segment and the way I'm breaking down each segment is I am starting with the swim, 
and then the run, and then the bike. It's kind of how I'm doing it. Monday night was a off night. It was a day of rest, so we started a little backwards. We started with the swim on Tuesday. Tonight's gonna be the run, and then tomorrow, Thursday, is gonna be open water swim. So I'm gonna get some good content on that. Go over you, go over you guys and gals with that scenario, and uh, you know what kind of fears we have to face in the open water, whether it be fresh water, salt water, brackish water, you know, whatever you end up swimming in, depending on the the race and you know who's putting it on. Heck, you could be, could be swimming in the swamp, you know, some of these people putting on races. You never know. Um, today's fear with running, I would say is myself I always follow too close to the sidewalk it's just something in my mind like I have to it's that ADD again I have to be going like along some kind of straight line or there be a sidewalk um, the median a curb um, the lines in the road I mean anything that I can put my mind on and focus on that and that helps me with my speed um, my posture, like the way I carry myself, uh, just everything that goes with a run dynamic. I think it just really, just really keeps me centered, if you will. So my fear on that, and it has happened to me, I'm running with a group of people, and I'm talking, I got a pretty good pace, everything's going good, and I look over, and I'm not looking down and paying attention, and the road turn, something happened, and around here you got a lot of old median so they're about two to three millimeters high they're not your standard you know eight millimeter high curb so if you're not paying attention and you don't pick your feet up just right what you can do is kind of do one of those you know where your foot skips it and then you can either go down or kind of start running real fast and try to catch yourself another scary thing when you're driving driving another scary thing too when you're running is we have a lot of oak trees here in Florida, so they intend to pop up the sidewalk because the roots are always trying to get to the surface to look for water and spread out. That's why when hurricanes come, it just wipes out our pine trees. I mean, our oak trees, shoot pine trees too, but oak trees for sure. So when you're running, a lot of the sidewalks have oak trees around them, so it lifts the sidewalk about two millimeters, just enough where you're running and you're not, you're tired or you're distracted or you just kind of bebop into a good song and you forget to lift up that left foot, just one millimeter. I mean, just ah, so close. It happened to me once too. And I started running like really fast, like trying to catch myself. If not, I would have ate it. And when you eat it, like I ate it on the bike when I wrecked a while back, you get some of these right here. You get all, you know, rash on the back of your arm. Um, my hand actually hurts right here. So when you fall down, it's a mental thing you put your hands down first it's what you do or in this case i put my arm down or wreck my bike you know a couple weeks ago so i know that's a lot um it's important to me to break down each individual fear of each um discipline if you will on when you're doing triathlons so we got a pretty fun day tomorrow it's gonna be open water swimming in orlando so we're gonna get back on here soon all right, we're pulling in the luckies. The swim starts at 6.30 a.m. It is 6.37. We're a few minutes late. Oh, the gate's closed. That's great. Hope it opens. If not, I'm sneaking on the other side. It opened. All right. We're good. So you can see it's a little bit of light out. But this right here is what I'm talking about, um, is facing your racing fears. And this one's gonna be about open water swim. So we gotta hurry up and get ready and get down there before it starts. Oh wait, I think it already started, so.
we're in. Let's go down to Lucky's and get the swim on. Ugh. Your wetsuit's got to be just right. If it's not, once you hit that water, there's no turning back. Because you're going to be in the middle of the lake, and about the only thing you can do is, if you're lucky, is adjust your goggles. Or you can just sit there and bob like a bobber until somebody comes and gets you. If the open water swim you're doing has anything like that, which there's kayaks and boats out here, so if it comes to that, there would always be someone to come out here and save you. Just like when you're racing, there's Navy SEALs. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of volunteers. Uh, Iron Man has staff that uh, you know watches stuff like that. So let's go. Hey puppy! Come here baby! Snickers! Snickerdoodle! Snickerdoodle! Come here Snickerdoodle! Come here Snickerdoodle! What? What are you doing? Good girl! You want some attention too? You hear the baby? Oh they like babies too. I think they're telling you that you're late. <laughs> they're telling on you. It's a beautiful morning. I mean, this is breathtaking. You can't, the video doesn't do this justice. So we're at Lucky's Lake Swim in Orlando, Florida. I'll put it down in the description below. Uh, www.luckyslakeswim.com. So if you look over there to that uh, light over there, that's where you swim across to. So it's about 700 yards. Uh, so there and back is about 1,400 yards. So you swim over there, there's a little shoreline. You can turn around and come back. And I think you can do it probably six times in the time that they have it. So let's get this swim started. gonna be a triathlete before you know it. knocked out. All right, so we finished the swim. So everything went pretty good. Um, my arm's getting a little better from my crash, as you know. So I had a 222 pace. Uh, we started at 6.49 a.m. and a total of 53 minutes and almost 2,300 yards. 
So I'm pretty pleased with that. A little over the training segment. Um, I think it's about 1,900 yards roughly for the for the race. So if you take away, I don't know, about eight minutes, I'm right around 40 minutes where I want to be at. So I'm pretty pleased with the training today. Uh, I definitely have a lot to think about uh, going over and back four times. Um, basically, my fear for open water swim is we are in Florida. It is a spring-fed lake, so there is alligators that visit from time to time. Um, this lake is uh, Lucky's Lake Cane, so it is, is under a 501c nonprofit. So all the fertilizers for the uh, lawns around the lake are pet-friendly and lake-friendly fertilizer. And if they do see a little critter in the lake, um, they do remove it. Um, there's still otters. Uh, snapping turtles, there is fish, uh, there's gars, I've seen gars out here, um, I've seen snapping turtles, I've seen all kinds of just, you know, wildlife. I mean, it's a lake, it's something that you have to just deal with. So I think my fear would be um, something basically getting me, like an alligator or um, a uh, um, otter. They have otters out here, I've seen otters before. Um, but like it's the old saying as your pops will tell you or your mom will tell you with animals and wildlife if You don't mess with them. They won't mess with you So now we're going to first watch to get something to eat because I am Starving so now we're gonna rip this wetsuit off All right, we're at first watch. I'm gonna get that trifecta with French toast and eggs. Oh, I love that stinking thing. Let's walk in here and see if we can get us a seat. Oh, look at the dog. Look. Oh, hi. I see you down there. see what comes. I almost forgot. My food's almost gone, but I got the trifecta, which is French toast, eggs, and a little bit of bacon. And what'd you get? Chiqui changa with potatoes. All right, so we're gonna head uh, back to Lakeland from Orlando, Florida.
All right, as you can see, I'm on a treadmill here. Uh, the training schedule really got messed up this weekend. So Saturday was a 40 mile run with a brick. And then after that, Sunday was a hour and 15 minute run to finish up my last week of training before we slow down into the transition to the taper and of course the lights went off so I got to get that back on so sometimes it's just been one of those training days where if something's gonna happen uh, it's gonna happen and then I run on the treadmill which I enjoy the treadmill treadmill the only fear I've got on the treadmill is my phone dropping you know from the vibration or if I'm going real fast and you can back up and it's like a cliff you're going off that cliff and there's no telling what can happen um, but you do get a controlled run out of it you can control your speed um, your incline there's a lot of pros and cons to running on the pavement and then running on the treadmill so pros and con pull on the treadmill control your speed pavement outdoors you get to enjoy so pros and cons to uh to both of them uh but i feel like i get more of a workout on the treadmill get some good coverage uh for the channel and man this week's training just went perfect uh but back to the uh schedule change from saturday i'm riding out 40 miles i get about 20 miles in about halfway i see this big cloud and it's coming towards me so i'm like all right forget this i'm gonna cut my ride in half and then start to taper early and then i'll go into the brick when i get back to my car and put up my bike I get to the car and guess what yeah exactly it was raining right before I got to the car sideways front ways back ways sand dirt leaves uh, trees falling down the temperature changed from 85 to 65 within a matter of seconds I was soaked my bike was soaked everything was just horrible so I pushed through because you have to push through when you're riding back to your car you can chicken out go by your pastor's house and be like hey dude can you give me a ride to my car I'm a wimp so I'm like no I'm not gonna ever be defeated by the natural element so with that said race week is upon us and the next week's video coming up will be race week because as you know Sunday is race day on the 18th so we're exactly seven days away from race day so definitely was good to get in this run to shake those race nerves out because I don't care if you're a pro uh, you get race nerves there's no way around it so gotta push on so this week's video was basically about facing your fears um, I know what I didn't cover was the bike uh, the bike would be if you fall off like I haven't is I'm 43 I'm not 23 so you don't recover like you used to and when you fall and you get hurt you're gonna push through but it's really bad and you're just gonna limp or favor your arm or favor your leg there's gonna be certain criteria that you meet that you're gonna just handle in your own fashion in your own way and that's how I did it but as you can see I got a lot of feeling back in my arm if I looked at it like that I feel it a little bit right here but nowhere you know like it was and as you can see that uh nasty 
bruise and the scab is going away finally. So, oh, my fear of falling off the bike, the treadmill is tripping, my swim is something getting me. <laughs> so, and that's open, open water swim by the way. Really nothing going on with the, the pool unless you were to, you know, have some heart issues or something, which I would recommend to uh, see your doctor. So that wraps up this week's video. We're gonna finish it up on the treadmill. And remember, next week is race week. So probably a, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I'll get all the footage together and get it out there so you guys can see, you know, how everything went. And then of course, the next project is gonna be the Mayfair 5K. I got some footage coming up on that. I'm still gonna bike and swim a little bit, but I'm definitely gonna focus on my run and get my speed up for the 5K. I'm gonna find a uh, short training program, probably four weeks, because it's coming up pretty quick in uh, May. There's more details to come on that. So, face your fears, everybody. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ironman, dot keith and please hit that click button for a subscribe or a like whatever you choose and stay safe race safe and we'll see you in the next video